Hi and welcome back to Star Trek Online. Uh, today we are going to do three things. Number one, we're going to use a load of level up points because I actually managed to level myself up, I think twice, just by doing patrols. Number two, I'm going to show you a patrol. Number three, actually, turns out we're going to do four things because number three, we're going to do strand in space, and number four, I'm going to show you how a patrol works. So, um, yeah, funness. Let's get going. First of all, we'll take this mission. We're not going to do it immediately, but we'll take it. So, uh, Lieutenant, I received a report that there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue to arrive at Earth space dock. It may need assistance. Hmm. Please talk to Malcolm Sisel in the shipyard. He will have more information about the missing vessel than I do. Okay, and that's that's actually pretty cool. Some pretty cool. There's actually some pretty decent um, rewards for that. So that's cool. Okay, we accept that. Uh, no, we'll deal with that later. We will be getting into PvP because PvP in this game just rocks. Uh, Malcolm Slicer, we will talk to you. Oi. Oh, uh, I'm still getting used to the controls in this game. How oh, yeah. So you're here to talk about the missing freighter. We haven't had a communique from the SS Azura in more than 20 hours. Donna Brott is an experienced captain, the daughter of a former Starfleet officer. It's not like her to be out of contact. If you don't know who Donna Brott is, if you don't know who Brott is, you need to go back and watch The Next Generation, seriously. Also, the SS Azura, this mission is actually quite important. Originally, it was the tutorial mission, or at least kind of was a tutorial mission. Anyway, but it actually gives you access to a merchant, which is really cool. Continue. It would really help if you could go out to sector space and find the Azura. I've already transmitted the ship's last known coordinates to your con officer. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> to get back to our ship, we do the uh, beam to ship. We're not going to do that. Just uh, why is it? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I don't need to select my ship, I need to modify my ship, yes. Repair, customize ship, okay. I did some looking up, it turns out that you get one free ship customization per ship, so uh, let's do this thing. There is our beautiful USS Sharon, uh, it's a pretty bog standard. Miranda class, nothing special. But this is where life gets fun because, first of all, we can change the interiors. Um, and there are quite a few options, but first of all, those, like there's an option and color versions for it, which is kind of cool. Um, there aren't many versions for this, unfortunately, which kind of sucks, but it's not terrible. I mean, that's the constitution one I'm kind of tempted but I think I'm going to save doing that for um, the future and I'm going to stick with the origin one because it's not terrible uh, windows basically changes the I don't know why that's changing it that way but okay well basically it's different layouts internal layouts hinted at by the windows I'm I kind of like that one Material, uh, yeah, you can go full out dark black, but I don't know. Um, that's kind of original series. That's kind of more the f original movies, or that is maybe, and that's kind of more next generation. So maybe we'll go with that, and we'll change our colors to. Uh, actually, I need to. Ah, why are you doing this? See, that's changed the nacelles and that stripe. And uh, yes, I am going with purple and pink. I'm sorry. Sue me. Yeah, that's kind of sexy looking. Uh, but here's where things get really awesome because right here we can change the style of the different parts. Like, that's a Miranda Shikar amalgamation, which actually looks pretty freaking awesome. I might look at the Centaur version. Yeah, it's a bit rounded for my liking. Uh, we'll go with the Shikar. 
and the pattern will be uh, da, 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 da. Aquila. No, that's not bad. Corvus. No, Andromeda is quite. That's quite nice, actually. Yeah, it's even got a go. It's even got a go faster stripe. I mean, yeah, I think we'll stick with that. Now, nacelles. Do we want to go with Miranda, Centaur, or Shikar? Let's have a look at the Shikar. That's actually kind of badass looking. That is really kind of. That looks like it's going fast standing still. So I think maybe. Um, let's have a quick look at the Centaur. Actually, the ce oh, yeah, yeah, we're going with the Centaur definitely. And it, you can still see it's a Miranda class. It still looks like a Miranda class. Um, now, you can change the struts. I'm not going to, but just quickly show you what's possible. That would be the Centaur struts, which I'm sorry, that looks ridiculous. And these are the Shikar struts. They're not, there isn't a huge difference between these and the Miranda. That's a bit more pronounced, but I'm going to stick with the Miranda because. I like the Miranda look for the struts. Um, and finally, you have the pylons, and of course, these are the nacelle things up. Sometimes I'll go with this if I'm playing. Originally, I did because it makes it look really sleek and really kind of rar. Also, it's a smile. If you could turn it upside down, it would be a smile. Um, Miranda, we've already seen, and then we've got the Shikara, which basically just pushes it out, them out slightly so it's not as square. I'm actually going to stick with the Miranda though. And I'm going to change... Uh, there's Andromeda I went with, wasn't it? Actually, I might go with Cygnus for that. Yeah, Cygnus looks good on that. And... Uh, Andromeda... Not really sure that did much, but yeah, I think we'll stick with that. That's not bad. So we click purchase, and there we go. Exit. Now we are going to go to space and find the Azura. So this is a really not that's a really nice touch to the game. I've always really admired that about this game because it gives you the opportunity to make your ship feel like your ship. I, I did fairly minimal changes there. I mean, this, the, sa the saucer section is majorly changed, but it's changed for a reason. Uh, okay, before I do that, I need to skill spend my skill points because I have many, 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 many skill points. Uh, I'm not going to do weapons training. I will punch my driver coils up further. Um... I might actually drop um, I've only got a thousand left actually so yeah we'll do that god it's so noisy here take me to sector space I think um, weapon proficiency I don't have do I not have any ground points oh I've spent them all okay well that's that so let's go to is that sector space yeah That is it. We now have a sexy looking ship. I mean, seriously, it's purple and pink. <sighs> no, 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 no. I just need to get away from Earth a little bit. Come on. And we're now up to warp 5.41, which is kind of cool. Uh, decline. Okay. I'll stop and let's open up our map um, and we'll scale in and see if we can find the Azura. We have the Azura. Auto travel to Azura. Never quite been sure. You see, one of the problems is I don't have a scroll wheel on my mouse, on my trackball, and I used to have my on my old one, which, by the way, I might have found a way to fix. Hopefully. Uh, I don't have any slots to spend them in. Oh, hang on, did I not accept that? I didn't, okay. 
and we're going to put one more into hull repair. Accept. Okay. Uh, to any ships in range, this is Dan Abrot of the transport SS Azura. Please help. Warp core, containment field, radiation. Yada yada yada. We're in deep shit. Okay, so we'll do this. And I have kind of mixed memories of this particular mission because the first time I played it, I had no idea what I was doing and I somehow managed to die during it. I mean, the fuck? Uh, wow, my inner Corconian really came out there. Incoming message. Continue. Okay. Why did you stop there? Okay, and we're now capable of warp 5.94 almost warp 6 we're almost as fast as the ships from the original series oh, seriously that is a sexy ship to any ships in range this dab brought yes, or, yeah please help we're being pursued by orion raiders oh the orion's making a point of appearance crew injured taking heavy fire dropping out of warp near your coordinates need immediate assist evacuation and assistance please help us Tavrell, keep tracking that distress signal Oh, cutscene. Well, kind of cutscene. Alright, let's kill some Orions. And that thing with the spiral, we'll get to that in a minute. Seeing as they've focused on it for no reason whatsoever. Oh, okay, there's like four of them. I can deal with that. The question is, can they deal with me? Oh, I meant to say. Hello, pigskins. Sir, sensors are picking up several light attack craft on an intercept course. We will need to deal with them before we can render aid to the SS Azura. Full powered shields, take us in. Yes. Scan hexafluorine gas, gas. Boom. Okay. This is a kind of mini game. You basically use the arrow keys to move the scan lines, the waveform, to the same as the uh, material you're scanning, and you get hexafluorine gas, which is used as a. Um, it's kind of used as a research material rather than as a crafting material, unless they've changed things massively, which of course is always possible. Uh, you first. Okay, maximum impulse is now quite a bit bigger. Move 
Asylum's Alright, other ship. This is not a challenging fight in any way or form, and yet somehow I still managed to die the first time I tried it. <laughs> Just goes to show how bad I was at the game back then. That looks so freaking good. Oh, yeah. And we're a mere five levels from a new ship. Which is kind of cool. Seriously? Is this guy actually orbiting that asteroid to avoid me? But you can't get away. You can't. I'll chase you round the rings of Nebulon and through perdition's fire! I really need to watch. I, I really need to watch the rapid man again. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're not going to go get that gas. It's much the same thing, and I'd rather do them off screen. Um, much like I'm going to do most of the research off screen. Uh, Captain, I'm detecting elevated radiation levels on the Azura. I've alerted the transporter chief to the situation. She can brief you to before you've been worth the Azura. Yeah, um, I'm gonna keep most of like the patrols and the research and manufacturing side of this game off screen. I will show how it works, but I'm gonna try and stick to the stuff that's actually interesting and exciting. Um, yeah, that works. I'm just taking my entire bridge crew on a, on a away mission with me, because that's intelligent, apparently. Mmm, delicious, delicious, generic, dilutable drink. Uh, yes. Didn't we have a Qatar uh, transportation officer, transport chief? I'm concerned about the radiation on the Azura. She might have some damage to the warp core, but our sensors can't pick up enough to determine exactly what you'll find over there. I'm sure I can send you back. I'm sure I can send you in the wave team safely, but I'm getting you back might be a problem until the Azura's critical damage is repaired. Step on the transporter and be careful. Okay. Okay, that transporter pad is just ridiculously big. I get why they did it that way though, because it means that people don't run accidentally over everything, which is nice. So I'm picking up multiple life signs. Some of them are the Azura's captain crew, but the rest are Orion. Yeah. Plasma leaks are blocking our path to survivors who need to take to use the consoles to safely vent the plasma. Easy. Actually, I wonder are there any... There are two anomalies in the area. Awesome. Uh, the anomalies are the source of... Well, you can see that there's... Ah! Why, why are you hanging up like that? Um... These are not. These are open con are containers, but they can also be detected as anomalies. So, power cells. Okay. Meh. Okay, so we need to go through here. We do. Okay, plasma controller. Plasma, plasma, plasma. Um, seriously, this place looks like. Well, like shit. Okay, crew member has been critically injured. Do not have the training to assist them. The science career is required to complete this task. That's the catch with this. You pick a career path, like tactical, science, or engineering, and you can do special missions associated with that, but if you don't have the training, you can't. There are certain missions that you'll miss, or certain. Ah, why can I not walk in a straight line? Um, <laughs> there are just certain things that you will miss because of that. And it sucks, but, you know. Frickin' hell. Uh, medium power cell, yeah, whatever. Did I actually take that? I did. Okay. It was easier to walk backwards than to... Okay, I can't open that one. Maybe I can open this one. I can. Enemy targets on sensors. Oh. Helps if you actually 
target them. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> Actually, maybe those don't. I thought the containers were, were registered as um, uh, anomalies, but maybe they're not. There we go. Trionium gas, whatever the hell that is. And more goodies. Take all. The shield charges are just a way of actually charging up your shields and overcharging them for a while. Okay, let's see. To self, plus 15 to all damage for 15. Okay, that could be useful in a boss fight. And there is our plasma thingy. Conduit. I'm still quite sleepy. I'm only up. I'm only up an hour or so, so I'm kind of out of it. You're gonna hear words like "tingy" a lot. Um, sorry about that. I'm hoping as well that I've managed to fix my uh, my audio problems because I was having some really serious audio problems. Wow, they didn't last long. Uh, yeah, I was having serious problems with my audio recordings up until recently. Um, it turns out that there were a load of settings that my changing over to Windows 10 reversed. It wasn't supposed to reverse anything, but it did. And the end result was I was basically unable to make myself heard. Well, not completely, it was kind of... <laughs> Scanning the warp core, Captain. Catastrophic failure of antibiotic containment. Walker no, breach is imminent. No, Captain, let's breach contain the Azura will be destroyed. Uh, we hit an Orion ambush on our way to K7. K7? Oh, we're gonna have some trouble with triples. We lost our weapons almost immediately and we took a direct hit near engineering. Our warp fields, magnetic and antimatter containment fields, Failed. We had no choice but to drop shields and use the power to try and stabilize the containment field. As soon as the shields were down, the Orion's boarded. Yeah, I know that. I've never let those green skin pirates cog the Azura. Please take my, my crew to safety. I'll keep trying to stabilize the crew if I'm lucky I can buy you some time. I'll help your crew. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, we had an unexpected visitor. and I have about 20 minutes before the... Uh, server goes down so we're going to ignore that research thing and we're going to run for it here we go um i can't remember what i was talking about it was over an hour ago oh lots of bad guys okay i'm cool with that for this mission you have to put the accolade in your mission track bar what I don't even know how to do that. No, no, no. Here, stage of reputation. No skills. No. I have no idea where the accolades are. I no, I'll figure it out, but not today. Anyway, yes, we have limited time until the servers go down. So. Dorian Chubarus. Hmm. Come on, die. Flanking damage detected. Wow, that and that Orion Vixen absolutely hammered me. I, there used to be tribbles in this as a, a usable item. I'm kind of curious if they still are, because because uh, uh, that was actually kind of a cool addition. Waiting, Sean. Are you ready to transport? Okay. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, so we got two of them. What about the other five? The ones that are lying in various states of disrepair on the floor. Okay, we have them, sir. Sensors detect more Orion ships on the way. We need you on the bridge. Didn't you just know that was coming? Multiple life signs, some of the. Oh, go away. No, I've already done that. <laughs> yeah, there is one weird thing with this game where it will sometimes regress like that when you have to exit and restart a game. A mission. See, I have no idea how to start that accolade thing, which is kind of annoying. There are more Ryan ships inbound, we need you back on the bridge. Okay. Uh, is that not the turbo bridge lift? Aha, here we go. I'll give her this, she does have a cute bump. Yeah, that break of an hour totally killed me. I'm so freaking out of it right now. It's just like, I just want to go lie down. Or possibly play Destiny and finally get my Galahorn. We'll see. Oh, This is the worst part about this game. When you're reloading something for the first time, you see how slowly it loads up. And it gets to that point and it just shoots. Okay. Incoming message from the Orions. Uh, we'll leave now if you know what's good for you. Starfleet, we're taking the ship, her crew, and cargo. You are cute, but no. Warning! Ship is under attack!
Target's shields have failed. I don't even bother using the torpedo on that. Alright. Ooh, I have points. I have points. Awesome. Uh, I am actually going to max. Oh, I can't max that out. That sucks. Okay, accept. Uh, Captain, we need to get in within range. Try to get a transport lock. Okay. I'm well within range. Okay. Yeah, I apologize. I've gone from very talkative and chatty to barely able to think. Captain brought us safely aboard, sir, and just in time, too, we got her just before she exploded. Brought us request that we take her and recruit to sector space. Starfleet will get them home from there. She'll be happy to speak to you if you wish. Speak to Captain Brought. Save my crew, I'll tell you whatever I can. Uh, what was Azura's mission? Azura is a transport ship, best in the quadrant. Mostly I haul medical supplies or farming equipment, but I had room in the cargo base for a little of everything. I have one customer who's just crazy for Tran here. Okay. I don't save the galaxy on a regular basis like you Starfleet types, but hauling cargo is a good way to make a living. I'm helping people in my own way. The Orions are thieves, pirates, and a whole lot of trouble if you ask me. Raiders have always been a danger to ships like mine. But the problem's gotten worse since the Orions allied with Klingons. Okay, that's interesting. Now they think they can do anything to anyone, someone needs to put a stop to these raids. What happened to you, Zora? We've been having trouble with the Warp Corps for a few days. I was hoping I could make it to the closest star base, but... Then the containment field started to collapse. I used every bit of power we had to stabilize it. The minute I rerouted power from the shields, the Orions were there. For all I know, they detected I was in trouble and were waiting for the ship right time to pounce. What will you do now? Go back to Belarus for a few weeks, I suppose. I have enough latinum saved up to get me back in on my feet. As soon as I can get another ship, I'll be doing transport runs again. I have customers waiting. Okay, exit. And we're done. And we're going to depart for to space. Yeah, let's go. And there we go. First story mission post tutorial. Uh, we can hail Starfleet. Uh, well done, Lieutenant. You saved the crew just in time. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff. Diplomatic orders. I. Hmm. Actually. I think we're just going to use what's in our our new bits and pieces, and uh, that's fine. Uh, go away. Uh, yeah, you need some body armor, and our ship has new gear to be fitted. We have a new warp. Field, stab field stabilizing warp core. Plus 2.5 to shield, plus 5 to maximum power, plus 5 to stri starship driver cost. So basically it's faster. Uh, here. Yep. And we have a shield array. Uh, it's a nice, actually, that's a nice little boost. Reduces disruptive damage to shields by 20%. Yes, please. And I actually think that's everything. Personal comm code. Oh, you can call a... Yeah, this is what I was talking about where you get a merchant. You can right-click on this and call a merchant to sell stuff, which is actually quite cool. And it's handy when you build up a decent supply of bits and pieces. Um, I could use this, but I don't think I will because mixing weapons isn't necessarily a good idea in this game. Um, can I spend any points? I can. Okay, that's that, and okay, so let's, I'm curious what my maximum warp speed is now. Let's see, 6.87, which is not hugely important, but it does speed up things like in sector space getting point to point, which is nice. Um, I've only got about a few seconds, before, a few minutes before the uh, server goes down, so we're not going to get our patrol thing done today. We'll do that the next time, and we might even make a trip to Memory Alpha. Well, I'll show you how the uh, 
the research and materials and the item creation mechanics work. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to call it a day there. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, again, apologies for getting very quiet when I got back. I'm really, really tired. Uh, but I will talk to you all again soon. If you did enjoy this, please like, share and subscribe because that would be awesome. And uh, bye for now.